So this is Insanity AO1. Remember, this is needed for a scenario for OCR and for an essay, and you can get 10 marks um, in both a scenario and an essay. OK, so Insanity. First of all, it is a general defence to all crimes apart from strict liability crimes. And this is what Harper says. Um, you get a special verdict. So this is not guilty by reason of insanity. Now, what is a little bit strange about insanity is that the burden of proof is on the defendant to prove the defence. Normally, the burden is on the prosecution to disprove the defence. But here we are saying on the balance of probabilities, the defendant has to prove that they are insane. The sentencing for insanity is found under the 1991 Criminal Procedure Act. For murder, the defendant still has to go indefinitely to a mental institution. There's no, no option there. However, for other crimes, the judge has a wider range of options. So you can still go to a mental institution. You can be sent for treatment. Um, you can have a supervision order or you can have an absolute discharge. So a whole range of things. The next point is that insanity comes from the 1843 case of McNaughton, and this sets out the elements of the defence. Element one, everyone is presumed sane, unless, as we said, the defendant proves otherwise. Element two, the defendant must have a defect of reason. The case of Clark says that this means a complete loss of the power of reasoning. So you can't just be forgetful. It has to be a complete loss of the power of reasoning. Element three, this defect of reason must come from a disease of the mind. Now, there's quite a lot you can say about disease of the mind. First of all, the case of Kemp says that disease of the mind includes a condition in the body which then affects the mind. So arterial sclerosis, blood clots affects the mind. It starts in, I guess, the heart and then it affects the mind. Um, Kemp also says that the condition doesn't have to be permanent, so it can be a transitory thing, it can happen just one off, yeah, one off thing. Case of Sullivan says that epilepsy is a disease of the mind, Burgess says that sleepwalking, and Hennessy taking too little insulin, the reaction is caused inside, therefore it's a disease of the mind and insanity. And then taking too much insulin is an external factor, which is automatism, and that's the case of quick. Element four, finally, is that the defendant doesn't know the nature of their act, or if they do know the nature of their act, they don't know that it's wrong. So either the defendant doesn't know the nature and quality of their act, or if they do, they don't know that it's wrong. And the case of Windle said that wrong means legally wrong. So that's the summary for insanity. Watch the AO3 video for evaluation for an essay.